Hey guys, Brian with WorkshopAddict.com and today we're going to take a look at DeWalt's new 12 volt extreme subcompact one-handed reciprocating saw model number DCS 312 G1. Now that G1 designates that this came with a kit so it came with a charger, a bag, and a 12 volt 3.0 amp hour battery. Now I really think DeWalt's 12 volt line kicks it for one reason only. This little guy slides into a battery charger that's a 12 volt or 20 volt charger, no different places. The battery has a fuel gauge on it, same as the 20 volt. It's styled the same as a 20 volt, just smaller. And this little tight compact battery really rocks it. I just like its shape, I like how it works. I'm not saying it's the best 12 volt line out there, that's for you to choose. Uh, this is just, something that really, I like it. It's always been something when I've seen it, it works well, it's cool. So this tool here, I think what we need to do is come in, take a look at it, and then we'll show you some of the other tools and somewhat of the size of this guy. So here it is, pretty small, pretty compact, one-handed, yet gives you a place to put a second hand up front, or as you can see with me cutting, a place to maybe put your thumb, just get a little extra support here. But it's comfortable to use two-handed, comfortable to use right or left-handed. You do have a lock here, and on both sides there is rubber, so that when you set it down, you're not setting that plastic down on anything. You do have a fixed shoe here. You have 5 8 inch of stroke, 2,800 strokes per minute. And this LED light up front, comes on with the trigger, stays on for a while, and shines through your shoe that's here. Now as far as vibration, there's very little, but you could tell when I'm cutting metal with a blade that is getting pretty worn, that if I didn't keep this shoe tight up against the metal, I got some pretty good vibration. That's basically because I didn't pull out any special blades here. I wanted to see how it worked with the blades that came with it, and because I'm getting a little movement behind the shoe. Otherwise, this thing was great. As far as blade changes, very simple. There's a wing up top. I found it's easy just to push over with your thumb, pull the blade out. It is not a quick change, so you do have to push it over. Let it loose, the blade will slide in. You can mount your blade in two positions, no issue. Just like any standard recip saw. Realistically, this guy is small. It's under three pounds and it's 12 and a quarter inches without the battery. So nice, lightweight, brushless, pretty cool. So in using the tool, we found a few things that might be interesting to you. First, we brought this tool in from 28 degrees outside, plugged that battery in the charger and wanted to let it rip. We got a light that said cold battery delay. So that made it take about 40 minutes to charge this 3.0 amp hour battery with about 10 of those minutes with that battery warming up so that it would actually charge at a good rate. If you're working in the cold, that could be something that could deter you from this line. Second, if you're gonna use this for jobs that are meant for larger tools, you're gonna chew up some battery. Not that it's a huge deal, but you're looking at a small tool with a lot of power and a very small battery. This is a 3.0 amp hour that comes with this tool. The rest of these tools here that you see come with a 2.0 amp hour battery. I think there's a reason they put the three with this dude. It's because it likes to eat up some battery if you're using it pretty hard. Now I really wanted to push this tool, see if I could get some cutouts or anything like that. I didn't, it worked great. The only issue that I had was when the blade got dull, I got a lot of vibration back with one hand because I wasn't keeping the shoe dead set up against the metal. Other than that, I really like the tool. The lockout for me is easy to use, easy to push, easy not to get in your way, which is my favorite part of it. The LED light was absolutely perfect is how it shined through the shoe. Love it. Love this tool. The older I get, the more I like to grab the right tool for the right job. I don't go out and just grab the biggest and baddest tool in the toolbox. And I think that's where this line comes into play. 
and there's some neat features here. I'm going to start with the drills because this is out. This is the 12 volt extreme drill. This is the DCD 708. It's a 20 volt compact line. You can see there is a significant difference. I have a compact battery on here. DCD 996, which I can put behind, does have the 6 amp hour battery, so it makes it just a quarter inch taller than it would be with the 5 amp hour battery. There is a significant difference in size, and I like that. The 12 volt stuff still gives me that same DeWalt feel, same DeWalt controls that I'm used to. Drill still is two speeds, still has all the clutch settings. I like it. Same trigger, trigger just perfect for the right job. Now it's a three eighths chuck. It's going to give you, you know, three eighths chuck power per se. That to me gives me everything I need for 80% of all the jobs, especially when I'm working on cars these days. I have very little room to get in there. Even this tractor behind me, it's just nice to grab something small, lightweight, get the job done. This is not something you want to use where you're going to get a lot of kickbacks because it's small, lightweight, and you don't have the force to hold it in place. You want to get something with an auxiliary handle like the DCD 996. Now, they also have three other tools in the line. Impact driver, which has been great. It's got high, low on the top and also a setting for torquing your screws down so you don't over torque them. Same DeWalt controls, guys. This is here. Perfect tri-LED light up front. The nice quick lock in front with your attachments in the collet. I can't say enough good about this. And if you look at it in my hand, how small it is, that's one of the things I really like about it. You're not going to go out and just build a deck with this guy. I mean, you can, but you're going to get to a point with the larger lags. You're going to be like, I wish I had something better. Now, they also make what is called a screwdriver. Now, this is basically just the drill driver portion of this tool put into an impact driver looking tool. So it is not an impact at all. It is just basically a drill in an impact driver's body, it takes a quarter inch collet, but then it has all your clutch settings. So it's just like a screwdriver. You wanna, electricians would probably love this because you could set this up, go through, do anything you want with your speed. It's all variable speed trigger and then set your clutch up so it works just perfectly for you. Great installer's tool, love it. I have not had a lot of time to work with this 3 8 inch impact wrench. I'm, I have big hopes for it. You do also have a setting on top for tightening your bolts up to a certain point without over torquing. You do have a high and low setting. I don't see this as a lug nut wrench, but I do see this as something for working in the engine compartment, tearing apart intakes, doing different things that are small tool like stuff, even maybe even some you know, exhaust bolts, taking off headers, some place where you can't get a large tool down there. It seems to have enough power, but I'm gonna do a separate review just of this guy because I like it that much. Check out our blog post below. I'm going to link you over to that. I'll put a DeWalt video in there that kind of shows some more of these tools. It's an interesting idea of going to a subcompact 12 volt line, very lightweight, very small. Again, it's nice because if you just have a 20 volt charger out, you can just pop this in your 20 volt charger. If you have the DeWalt 12 or 20 volt line, you can just go in between them with the chargers and they complement each other. I like that portion. Now, what would be cool is if they had our 20 volt drill here and they made it so you could also pop in the 12 volt. Not possible, would be interesting. I don't know if it would really gain any traction or get some use, but it's something nice that you can go between these two and these 12 volt batteries also power a lot of things like some lasers they have out there. There's a lot of 12 volt tools. There are only six extreme 12 volt tools, but these little batteries work in probably a hundred or so other tools. Appreciate you sticking around. Again, go to our blog, check out what we have there. I'll have some links for where you can buy these for pricing because their pricing on them is very good in my opinion at least. So check that out. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Again, we appreciate your time. Have a great day.